Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to show you how you can copy programs and files to your internal hard drive from an external hard drive. Now, with macOS Catalina, you can still just download as normal from the internet and save your files wherever you normally would save them and you're good. Um, and you can download from the App Store and stuff goes where it normally would go. Um, however, when you want to take files and other programs off of an external source, be it an external hard drive or flash stick, when you go and try and do something like that, like so, it comes up with, hmm, we're missing something. We don't have a green plus sign. We have this circle with a slash through it and it bounces it back on us. This is because of Apple's new security in Catalina. They have locked out, basically, the main level of the drive. It's for virus and hacker and malware stuff so that, you know, the less chance of that ever happening, okay? Because it's an unwritable section and they say you need to be able to write to it to screw it up. So if they take away the capability to write to the main level, then we should be safe or hopefully safer anyway. Time will tell, of course, right? So, but what if I want to go to the application area inside and I want to copy something? Well, yes, I can do that because I've now gotten off the main level, okay? So I can manually do this. Now, in my case, I'm not putting, you know, a PDF file in here. That's stupid. It's an application folder area. Now, what I want to do is have a data area on my main drive. We're used to being able to do it here and it would just ask for a password which is the same one you used to sign in your computer with and you say okay and it would copy it in and you're okay and everything could be kept in one window the way you wanted it. Life was grand wasn't it? Well now it sucks. Not so bad though. Okay go into the user folder. Now you have two ways to do this. You can go here create a new folder you will need to type in a password, okay, and then it'll create the folder. Then you can put stuff in. When you want to take stuff out, it wants a password, of course. Um, and if you want to delete that folder, it's going to want your password again before it's going to allow you to delete. The other option is you just go in here and make a new folder. You will not be asked for a password. So I can just create a new folder. Oh, look, no problem. Oh, look at this, no problem. Copies right in, boom, it's there, okay? So this is how you now have to do things and get away from the main level. Because now you're going down levels of the drive. These are the levels that don't have a bazillion security protocols, right? So I've made a folder called Data Backup, okay? So what I do in here is I take, uh, let's, let's, let's take this because it's, it's a good size file. I've made an alias on my desktop called Data Backup Alias. So I just, you know, do it there. It's just more convenient than opening up a pile of windows, right? So I've created my folder. Away we go. It's copying my stuff. I go to double click on that folder. It opens up the original window for where it actually sits. And there's my file. Now I want to dump that file, get rid of it. It's as simple as drag, drop, and dump, and gone, okay? Empty trash. Now, go in here, go in here, in here, empty. Now I want to put it in here, close that out. It's right there, ditch it, gone. I think it's kind of a little bit of a pain and a little sad that we can no longer do stuff on the main level here. However, at least there is a go around that is very simple to deal with. And uh, if you're not sure about how to make an alias on your Mac, because some people actually, believe it or not, they don't know, they've never done it. Um, just click once to highlight, right click once, and let go of the button of course. Um, and then scroll down to make alias and then just select it and it'll make an alias at which time it'll make it in here and then you can just drag it to here. So for example, let's get rid of this. That's gone. 
So we want to make an alias. So there's our shortcut. An alias is a shortcut. Drag it over here, dump it. Okay. Because it's part of the hard drive itself, of the main internal hard drive, because you're in the hard drive area of the main hard drive, it's not going to make another one and make you copy it across. Whereas if you go from an external drive, something like this, okay, I want to do an alias of this. So now this has to copy itself to the hard drive. It still leaves the original shortcut there, but I get rid of that. Okay, But then I can click on this and it's what's in the folder. Okay? So this stuff is pretty simple to get along with. Now what if we want to go and do something like this? We can copy it. Now that's not actually on the main level on the inside. It's in another area. Okay? The problem is, is, it's too easy to delete from here, right? But who wants to have a bunch of fo folders all over their desktop? I mean, some people do, let's face it, they do. But this file is still here, but it's still intact over here because it's from this drive, and because I drag and drop it on the desktop, it's going to the main hard drive, okay? It's just that if I want to go here, this is on the main level now, I can't write it to this area of the drive. It doesn't allow me. So I have to go in here, find my folder, then I can just do that, and it just dumps it straight in. It's not making a copy, it's a straight dump in. Right? Pretty neat, actually, when you think about it, how it works. So, anyhow, that is the little tour of how to do this. So if you are racking your brains like I was, you can stop rocking your brains and de-stress and just go, ah, ah, I'm so much at peace now. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll be sure to catch you on the next one. See ya.